Okay everybody, welcome to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, Unity 3D, okay, how to install it on Ubuntu system. So the idea is that uh, Unity is now, at the time of the making of this video, is only available for Mac and Windows. Uh, in the past, it used to come in Debian packages. Um, the last version that came in the Debian package is 2017.2.0 F1, okay. Uh, the idea is that now Unity comes in uh, the shell scripting form, okay, in, in the form of .sh files for Linux. And in the download, in the form of packages, it only comes for uh, Windows and Mac, okay. So it doesn't come for uh, Linux. So what you have to do is that you have to install the .sh script file uh, for Linux and then you can basically run it. So the idea is that um, when you are running the shell script, you have to install a lot of dependencies manually. But in, when it used to come in the Debian packages, uh, Debian package already had all the dependencies uh, pre-installed. It would install them automatically. But since we are going to install Unity using this dot .sh script. Uh, so we are we have to install all the dependencies manually. Okay. So these are the dependencies. Uh, I have a list. So I'm gonna put all these dependencies in the description. I'm also gonna put the link, this link, in the description as well, so that you can download this scripting file. The size of this scripting file is approximately 2.7 gigabytes, and I have already downloaded it. So now uh, first of all you have to install these dependencies and then we can run uh, this script all right so these are the five uh, commands uh, that I'm gonna install and each command contains approximately five to six dependencies okay so in total you can say these are like I think it they are 30 to 35 uh, dependencies okay so now let's go ahead and let's try to install them so first of all what we would do uh, we would hit Control alt t we would open up our terminal let me zoom in a little bit so the idea is that these are all the dependencies for unity okay you have we have to manually install it because we are installing unity through shell script if you are uh, basically installing it through a debian package then you don't need to install it with that but the problem is that the last Debian package is 2000 unity 2017 and if you want to install the latest version that is going to come in the form of scripts and uh, you have to know that how to install uh, in in the form of script okay how to install unity when it comes in the form of scripts all right so now uh, we we'll just simply copy this first command okay so i have already installed these dependencies okay so for me it is not going to take much time but when you will be installing them uh, it is going to take a while okay so when you will be installing for the first time it is going to ask you uh, whether you want to install it or not so uh, you would have an option of y or n so you press y and then hit enter and then it would basically install it okay so this is the first uh, dependency, uh, the first command that we have run. Now let's go ahead and let's try to run the second one. I'm just showing you that there is no error in these dependencies and it can be run. These commands are fine. So I hit enter again and now you can see that uh, it is already installed as well. Uh, I have installed it. So now let's go ahead and let's quickly install the third dependency okay again it is going to ask you for the confirmation as well okay so you have to confirm it by pressing y all right so make sure you remember that uh, i have already installed the third command as uh, as well all the dependencies uh, but uh, you are not going to have these dependencies in your computer in your system so it is a must to install uh, all of these dependencies okay so i hit enter again and now you can see this is already the newest version so i have already installed it and now uh, the fifth one and the last one we'll just simply copy it we come here we paste it right here we hit enter and now you can see that the uh, these are all the packages or the commands that we already have as well all right so we have installed all the dependencies excuse me and now what we're gonna do uh, is that we are going to run this script all right so let's see that where uh, this script lies so uh, probably it is in the downloads folder 
So now you can see that this Unity Editor uh, installer is in the Downloads folder. So what we would do uh, would come to our terminal. Let me just. So now we, we are going to go to Downloads folder. So we'd write here CD Downloads, hit Enter, and now we are inside the Download folders. Uh, so now you can see if we run the ls command, uh, you can see that we have this Unity Editor .sh file. But right now you can see that it is uh, white. Okay, it is not green. It means that this file is not executable yet. Okay, so we have to make it executable. So how do we do that? We'd write here sudo chmod and then we'd write here plus x, uh, which means that we are going, giving it the executable permissions. If you do not know what these permissions are and what this chmod is, uh, we have a separate video on that in which I have explained in detail what this file permission is. So I'm gonna put the link in the description to that video as well. So now we'd write here sudo chmod plus x and then we'd write here the file name, all right? So the file name is unity editor installer, okay, dot sh. So uh, I have pressed tab and it has auto completed it. So now I hit enter and you can see that it has not given us any error. So if now if I ls here again, so now you can see that the color of this has changed it has become green it means that now it is executable so now let's go ahead and let's try to execute it so we'll just write here a dot slash and then we write here the file name uh, unity editor installer and then so on dot sh so after writing unity if you would press tab it would basically auto complete it all right so now if i hit enter it says the installer must be run as root so we have to write here sudo first so let me just write here sudo we hit enter and now you can see that the installer uh, for unity is starting so it says press enter to begin extracting uh, to this folder so i would just press enter and now you can see that it is basically unpacking the unity all right so the latest versions of unity uh, whenever they are they would come they would come in the dot sh form so if you know how to install this dot sh form you can install any uh, of the editor okay and make sure that you install these dependencies first uh, that i would put in the description okay so without installing those descriptions you won't be able to install unity and now you can see that the process is happening uh, it is installing it so we will wait and we will see that what happens next all right so now you can see that we have extracted it successfully so it has taken a lot of time while extracting it because it was a huge file approximately 2.7 gigabytes all right so when you will be extracting it would take a lot of time okay when i say a lot it means a lot of time all right what we would do uh, that we would run this basically command this script basically to begin okay so we just simply copy it and we paste it right here we hit enter and now you can see that our unity has started successfully so now uh, it would basically ask you uh, to sign in okay so if you have uh, your already if you have your unity account or unity id then you can log in from here or if you do not have any id or anything then you can in that case you can basically sign in with google or facebook as well or you can create one unity id for yourself as well so let's say if i basically sign in with google so now i have basically uh, given my details my um, google id and password and now you can see that unity has started so here we have the unity terms of service so these are the terms which you need to read and then basically accept it so now you can see that i have accepted them and now it would take me to the next step And here you can see uh, that it says it and here you can see again we have we are presented with the unity software license agreement so now I click on I agree again 
and now it would load so it says uh, license management so it's uh, you can also have a unity plus or pro uh, basically for this license uh, you have to buy it all right but this i think unity personal this is absolutely free so i would check on that and then i would click on next and now here you can see that it says license agreement please select one of the options below uh, the company or organization I represent earn more than $100,000 in gross revenue. And uh, what I can do is that I'm going to click on this. I don't use Unity in a professional capacity. But if you're a part of some company who earns more than $100,000 or less than $100,000, then you can check the respective options. Okay. So now let's just click on next. And when you click on next, you can see that activation is almost successful and it says almost there so now it, you can see that we have this thank you message so now we can start using unity so now if we click on it there we go this is unity and this these are the projects that would be on on disk if you click on this these would be the project that would be on uh, cloud okay so if you want to create a project just click on new project and then you basically you can fill in the information all right you can have the project name you can have the project location then you can give your organization name and then you can select either you are going to develop a 2d game or a 3d game so yeah that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new for written articles you can visit our website linuxhint.com and thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you in the next video.